Hello everyone, so today is Giving Tuesday. So you may have seen in your Instagram account, in Facebook, or in any other social media, the hashtag Giving Tuesday. So what is Giving Tuesday? Giving Tuesday is a Tuesday after the Thanksgiving Day in the United States. And it's also a Tuesday after the Cyber Monday. So it is a day to give back to the community, to the different charities, and to non-profit organizations. It started in 2012 and it was created to promote charitable acts of giving. So how do we get involved? So on this video, I will just share to you how are we going to get involved, how do we donate money or where should we donate money, and I'm going to be sharing to you some of the nonprofit organization that I am currently supporting and I am encouraging you to support also right now. So, how do we get involved? There are actually two ways to get involved. First of all, let's donate our money to the nonprofit organization. So later, I'm gonna be discussing what are my favorite nonprofit organization or the nonprofit organization that I am currently supporting. And also, let's donate if we don't have any money to give. Of course, it's I understand that it's pandemic time, but let's donate our time by volunteering to the different organizations. Okay, so I'm gonna be sharing some of the nonprofit organizations and charities, and I will be linking in the description box the link for their website, and you can give them and support them before this day ends before this tuesday the giving tuesday ends i hope that after this video you will find time to click on the link and give some donation to these charities okay so the first uh, charity or organization that i'm going to tell is the focus on the family so focus on the family is i'm not sure if it's all around the world but i know there's one here in canada and in the united states United States. So focus on the family, help people or help families build their lives on the foundation of Jesus Christ. So this is a good Christian organization that provide different resources on marriage, parenting, life challenges, and faith and culture. So actually they are sending monthly, what is this, monthly magazines for parents if you are interested to check, to get some um, resources about parenting or about marriage there's re they're sending free free monthly magazine about that and I've, if I'm not mistaken they also have their some podcasts in Spotify and they also have some programs in the radio in shine FM you can also listen to that so the first organization that I'm encouraging you to support is focus on the family the second nonprofit organization that I really, really love, it's actually very close to my heart, is the Samaritans Purse. As you may know, I posted some videos before about the Operation Christmas Child, and Operation Christmas Child is one of the ministry of the Samaritans Purse. I've already given you an overview of Operation Christmas Child. So Operation Christmas Child, or the OCC, is that they collect ship access with gifts inside and they distribute it to the struggling families, kids around the world. So it's one ministry of the Samaritan Spurs. But other than that, Samaritan Spurs is a non-profit organization that provides spiritual and physical aid to hurting people. If you can, I mean, I remember in the going back to about March and April and May when COVID really hit Italy and New York very hard when Italy and New York are struggling with COVID in the middle of the outbreak Samaritan Spurs brought their nurses and doctor and they provide help and support to the overwhelming hospitals in Italy and in New York they also have sent some responding teams to help in giving out of reliefs in the Philippines and even Vietnam to those who were really affected by the very strong typhoon. But I know they're not only helping in during um, calamities like typhoon, they also help uh, sending relief help uh, during hurricane, even in the United States or in even parts of the world. And last June, we were hit badly by uh, 
we had a hailstorm last June and we are hit badly and they sent some of their teams to help the community in Northeast here in Calgary to do some cleanups. Not only you can donate money in Samaritan's Purse, you can also donate your time in uh, their packing of the shoe bags. You can actually volunteer. You can uh, check their website. I'll be, ch I'll be um, what's this, linking everything in the description box. But you can also help in packing or checking all the shoe boxes before they send it to a different parts of the world. By the way, before I continue, let me go back first to the focus on the family because this is very important to tell. So today, if you choose to donate to focus on the family, they will double the amount that you are giving them. So for example, if you are only planning to give them like $20, they will be giving or they will be doubling it to $40 because they found like a sponsor or somebody who's also willing to help and this person is doubling the amount of donations that they're also gonna get today. So I just remember that and it's just worth mentioning. So that's it. Okay, so for our third nonprofit organization is the Mustard Seed. So the Mustard Seed's vision and mission is to eliminate homelessness and to reduce poverty. And it's been serving the community for 35 years already. They have multiple locations here in Alberta and in British Columbia. And we have one in downtown. And if you've been watching my videos uh, during my birthday week, I we donated some of the stuff in Mustard Seed Foundation because um, they are it's a place where the homeless stays so they're also accepting donation by goods like hygienic items toothbrush toothpaste soap they're also accepting things like mittens scarves socks things like that so I'll be putting the link on the description box and today it says there in their website that if you donate as minimum as three dollars and fifty one cents you can provide a meal and other resources for someone in need so as as cheap as three dollars and fifty one cents you can provide a meal to these people so go check them out so those are the top three organizations that I really like focus on the family Samaritan Spurs and the mustard seed but other than that, I'm also going to give a shout out to other organization that you can also support. Number one is the Canada's Lifeline. So other than donating your time and donating your money, you can also donate blood. It's very important to donate blood and you can book on their website in blood.ca and it's best to donate blood, especially during this pandemic. People are really needing blood these days so if you are healthy go make an appointment and donate blood and lastly there's also this one organization it's called the faith beyond belief this is a christian organization that teach and train young people or christians in apologetics and this year they provided a lot of free online classes of apologetics i was able to like join one of their online classes and it's really nice they are teaching you why the, the the reasons of Christianity or I mean how to defend Christianity or our how to defend your faith things like that so I'm gonna be linking also that organization faith beyond belief so those are the top five or five of the non organization that I have mentioned but there's actually more there's so more so whatever organization you're planning to support you're planning to give your time and your money and your resources just give giving Tuesday should not only stop today giving Tuesday should always be every Tuesday and I know it's pandemic time but I hope you still find time in your heart to support to give back to the community to give back to whatever organization you are planning to support so that's it thank you for watching this video and i hope you give back to your community bye thank you for watching don't forget to give back to your community bye